Many rivers in the Pacific Northwest have been disconnected from the broader watershed. We have seen a century to a century and a half of resource extraction intensive mining, intensive timber operations, intensive agriculture. Now with climate change, the ground is shifting under our feet. You see significant flood damage. Salmon populations have been struggling. We need to give the river a fighting chance to be itself again. Two of the rivers we're working to restore right now, one is off the coast of Washington and the other is off the south coast of Oregon. With these large log structures, we are trying to accomplish a pinball effect where we are bouncing the flow to slow it down and to direct it away from valuable tribal land. We're all set up to float the Quileute River and we're gonna record temperature readings every three seconds. Where there's cold water, we wanna protect it. Without doing this research, we wouldn't pick up where those temperatures are warming up or where the cold water's coming in. I know it's gonna to lead to more salmon. If we don't do this restoration work, our lower village is gonna be gone. Down here on the Lower Elk River, we're burying logs to redirect stream energy from carving out the edge of the bank. Most of the work I do is on family-owned forest land and ranch land. Try to find ways to build fish habitat in a manner that benefits them as well. I'm a fourth-generation sheep rancher. We have good forage growth and we have good conservation area, so it's a win-win. We really have a chance of recovering wild Oregon Coast coho. That is a direct result of these federal investments in local communities. Because of the investment that the federal government has made, in the scale of the work is going to happen throughout the United States. Our men and women can't make a living like my parents did. That's what I hope the future brings with this restoration project. Having this level of money available to invest in projects that are beneficial for both infrastructure and for salmon, I think the timing is perfect. For all of these projects, we are seeing the benefits. We're able to bring the science to determine where investments will have the greatest benefit. There is a lot of work that remains to be done. Wild Salmon Center is committed to doing this over the long term.